Hey, hey, everyone. I realize it's not Friday, so this isn't my normal day of streaming. But, uh, welcome anyway. Uh, to another week of Artful Connections. My name is Cody Sherman. I'm of, uh, Toaster Press. Not quite fame. <laughs> uh, and so today for Artful Connections, um, I really didn't want to carve that, uh, that squid kraken plate i was doing last time so and my paints still aren't here yet they're expected to get here thursday and so while we wait uh i guess we'll start something new but uh before we start something new uh i am going to uh sharpen my tools which is something i have said that i wasn't going to do on stream uh because there's a very high chance i could mess them up <laughs> So, uh, but, you know what? I'm just going to try it anyway. Uh, going to have some tea to calm my nerves. And, uh, I have a couple of things here to maybe practice on first before I really jump into it. Um, here, I guess let me move my keyboard so you can guys start, or so you can see what I am working on. Nope. Uh, we had a little scheduling uh, conflict, so I'm filling in, and someone else will take my place on Friday. So I am a Wednesday streamer this week. Okay, so the tools that I'm going to be working with today are actually, it's a pretty cool find. Um, my great-grandpa on my dad's side, uh, he was a pretty handy dude. And they found all of these cool old, well this is for, uh, they found these cool old uh, chisels. So this is actually, this is for a wood lathe. Uh, wood lathe, of course, being a machine that you put like a block of wood in and it spins it. And oh, that's messed up. It spins it, and then you would use this to press against the wood to shape it in different things, kind of like how like uh, table legs or chair legs are made. Um, but they also found. If I can open it. All these really cool old, uh, like, detail carving tools, which is, this is what I, this is like, this is what I would use to carve out my blocks. Um, I had no idea he had these kind of things, so I thought it was really cool that, uh, he had them. So, I'm gonna go ahead and try to maybe clean them up a little bit, sharpen them, um, before I move on to mine. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was really cool. I don't know if you can see that, but they're, uh... No, nah, it's, it's... I don't know if it's... Here, I'm trying to focus it. Whoop! No, it's not gonna work. It says Craftsman. They're super old Craftsman carving blades. Um. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a try. I'm gonna start with this one since it's a scoop. Uh, scoops are usually the easiest... So, here, I'm going to see if I can clean it up a little bit first using my my leather here and my honing compound. You can see that the back of the blade, even if it's not in focus, is pretty pretty dirty. Um, I can take care of that. Th this I can take care of this part later. What I'm more worried about is being able to have a good view of the top, the top part. Um, so, I'm just going to go ahead... And how do I want to do that? Let's go. Yeah, let's do both sides. Okay. So, gonna put some of this honing compound onto my slip strap. That's what this yellow thing is I'm rubbing on here. It's a honing compound. Oh wow, yeah. 
just drag it across it. You kind of see it from the dark bit there. That's all like the gunk and old metal and stuff just coming off of it. It's looking a little better. These things are pretty dull. Ugh, and a lot of dips in the... A lot of dips in the, uh... in the metal I don't know you can kind of see there you, yeah you can see it's starting to shine a little bit <laughs> but yeah let's just start there um, alright so I'm gonna move my drink so I don't get any metal shavings in it um, let's go ahead I'm gonna move the camera over here You can see this. All right, so what I'm actually going to do first, I'm going to take this part off. Oop, I need to move this. I'm going to take this part off. Um, and replace it with this. Alright. Let's see if it works. Hey, looking good. I hope that's not too loud for the mic. I can move it closer to me. Let me know if that sounds super annoying. <laughs> so, and just in case it is loud. So what I'm doing with this <laughs> is, uh, so for this, what I'm going to do is this, the, the tip of this is very uneven. Um, yeah, even if it's not in focus, you can see how un uneven it is. It needs to be just like a n nice straight swoop. And it is definitely not that. Um, so, I'm going to have to use this grinder as it spins to flatten this out again. Uh, so I get a nice flat surface for uh, carving. Uh, and then from there, we'll, then we'll have to uh, sharpen the carving edge. But first things first, let's flatten out the, let's flatten out the, the carving edge. So, I'm going to do that right now. Again, sorry if... It, it, it's, it's a hum for me, but I don't know how it's going to sound on the mic, so just let me know. Almost there. Alright, that's looking pretty, that's looking a lot better. There is a little bit of a chip missing, but I'm afraid of going down any further than that. So this is what we got now. 
See how it's just got that nice straight swoop. The tip of it is very dull. It's very flat. <laughs> All right. So then, uh, the next step uh, is I go ahead and I will take this off. By the way, I would suggest not doing this indoors. I am doing this on my computer desk, and all these uh, metal shavings are flying at my second monitor. Um, so don't do that. <laughs> It's probably not a great idea. Uh, but this monitor is already kind of on its way out. So, eh. I'm not too worried about it. Whew, excuse me. Big yawn. Alright. So then the next thing I'm going to put on this, uh, it looks like this. Now, if you were on a previous live stream where I've talked about this, this thing is slotted like this so that when it spins you can see straight through it uh, and it's a very very fine grit like a sandpaper um, it probably needs to be replaced it's got quite a few scratches in it uh, but I'm gonna give it a shot so put that in with the sandpaper side facing down And by the way, if, uh, I don't know if you're watching right now or you're watching later, uh, this thing is called the WorkSharp, uh, WS2000. The WorkSharp WS2000. They're relatively cheap and they're very handy if you have, uh, these kind of tools that you need to sharpen. So, alright, so then my next step, uh, just as a guide to help me sharpen my tool, is I want to make sure... Here, I'm going to make myself a little bit larger. Whoop. There we go. I want to make sure that this tool is nice and evenly sharpened. So what I'm going to do as just like a nice uh, help guide is use a Sharpie. Uh, I'm going to color the back of the blade with the Sharpie so... When I put it into the 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 grinder, the sharpener, uh, and I can see through it, I can see it grind away the sharpie, and I can tell then if I'm doing it uh, evenly. So like if it's only if it's only wiping away the sharpie in like the upper part, you know, I'm not holding it right. I want it to be able to uh, you know wipe away all the sharpie nice and evenly just so uh my carving edge is nice and even so i'm just going to color the tip of it with the sharpie all right so i'm probably going to stand up for this part <laughs> so here i'm going to show you again uh so when this is running Sorry, shaky cam. So when this is running, what I'll do is I'll bring this blade underneath here uh, to this part. Now, like I mentioned, when it's running, you can see right through it. See, there's, there's my carving tool. Now, I'm not going to be able to effectively <laughs> sharpen the tool and hold the camera so you might just have to deal with this angle for now all right here we go That's a terrible sound. I'm going to way turn down my mic.
Okay. All right. We're getting a little bit closer. Um, let me turn back up my mic so you can actually hear me. Okay. So. This is what we're looking like now. If I can get a good shot of it. Um, definitely looking better. The the carving edge is still is still looking a little thick, a little and so it might be dull. Uh, but a great way to test that out. Uh, you get your handy dandy board, like so. Yeah, this deal's pretty dull. No, this ain't gonna carve anything just yet. We're almost there though. So actually, when you're this close, it would be probably best if uh, you used a sharpening stone um, just to get that nice fine edge on the on your carving tool um you can definitely use a grinder like i was uh but you also run the risk of when you get down to that that really thin um carving edge you run the risk of uh breaking the metal and then you have to kind of start all over again uh which these things are only so oh, 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 this way this way these things are only so long, so the more you carve away, the less metal you're going to have. And so, yeah. Um, so, you know, I might call this one good for now. Uh, until I can get a good carving stone to really uh, finish up that edge and make it nice and real sharp. Um, I could run it through my slip strop again. Clean, clean up those edges a little bit. Just bring it across that leather with the honing compound on it. Make it really shine. I wonder if I can get rid of that gunk on the bottom with this. Yeah, kinda. Probably gonna gunk up all my leather though. Yeah, actually that's starting to clean that up a little bit. Alright, I think I might call this one good for now. And too bad I can't get on the inside with that leather. The inside is dirty. So yes, that is the so that's just kind of my test run with, uh, you know, trying to sharpen up uh, if you weren't at the beginning of the stream. These are some of my whoop uh, some of my great grandpa's tools that we found. Um, just trying to sharpen them up. So that would be the U gouge for that. Hey, hey, welcome, Maggie. Sorry, our our regularly scheduled uh, Wednesday. Stay Wednesday been a weird week i think it's wednesday uh piano uh had to be switched out we were actually gonna have uh juan the wonderful juan on today but then he had to schedule change too so i'm your normal uh i'm normally on fridays but here i am so and uh i normally do woodcut which i probably will do a little bit of woodcut today but I wanted to try to switch things up a bit and show a little bit of tool sharpening. So, um, ooh, let's, uh, you know what? This thing's been getting pretty dull. Let's, let's, sh let's try to sharpen up this dude real quick. And then we'll get to, uh, get to, 
Um, what am I trying to say? Uh, starting a new board. So we'll probably spend maybe 10 minutes or so on this. Uh, and yeah, we'll switch over. So I'm going to put these, these guys away. So if you weren't here earlier when I was doing it, um, what I do to help me see where I am sharpening my tools, I, I use a Sharpie. So the Sharpie I use to color the end of the, of the blade. So this one is not super dull. It just needs a little bit of a touch up. So I'm just going to color that end just like so. All right, and then hard to see, but yeah, there we go. Covered in Sharpie. So then we're gonna bring it over here. Whoa, camera move. To the grinder. Um, and if you weren't here earlier too, this grinder is kind of cool in that when it turns on, you can see right through it. Kind of hard to see from the angle that you guys are looking at, but trust me, you can see right through it. <laughs> um, I might turn down my mic for this just because, turn down the mic, turn up the music because the grinding is a little loud. Uh, I can see comments during the whole time, so if anything is too loud or you have any questions comments put them in the chat i can see the chat so here we go All right, something I did not take into account right there <laughs> is that this thing is a little bit deeper. Um, and you kind of see that scoop in there. Uh, they could easily catch one of the sides. So I almost had an accident right there. But uh, I was able to catch it in time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this thing off. I think it might have messed up some of my sanding things. Yeah. Oh well. Those can be replaced. I'm going to put the, the top one on. Like so. There we go. Ta-da! Alright, and then I'm just gonna, instead of going from the bottom, we will go from the top. So I'm turning down my mic again, turning up the music.
All right. So here's a great example you can see where the Sharpie was not hitting. Uh, specifically, like, in the middle, which is kind of weird. Uh, or not where the Sharpie... Where the Sharpie is is where the grinder wasn't hitting, is what I'm trying to say. Um, but I still think I got the edge that I needed. I will have to touch it up a little bit, though, without the grinder. Like I was saying earlier, to get that last, like, that good final touch on uh, on sharpening your blades, I would uh, definitely suggest getting a, uh, a sharpening stone. The grinder is great for, uh, you know, getting it, it to the shape and uh, angle that you need your tool to be at. But uh, that sharpening stone will help you just get that nice, fine carving edge. Yeah. That works okay. Yeah, like I said though, I just need that I just need a sharpening stone to finish her off and then it will be an awesome blade again. Cool. I was also probably using too high of a grit um uh grinding wheel. That's just kind of the that's the high grit one that I was using uh the the red one this one. So that's the high grit. Um, that's great for resetting your shape, not exactly sharpening. Uh, so that removes a lot of metal real quick. But all right. So that is that tool. But now that I've already been carving on it, here I'm going to reset my station a little bit. Here, you know what since it's already past time uh since we're already a little bit past the halfway point um for those of you who are just joining in or for those of you who have been in and out the stream the whole time or whatever anywhere in between uh i will oh so ugh, god my desk is all it's got a bunch of metal shavings on it who would have guessed um so yeah if you can't save the whole time uh i just want to do some plug some pluggables real quick uh okay and for this picture i couldn't think of a good green screen gag this week so uh i just used my holiday picture from this last year which is of course this of me and my cat so do with that what you will uh uh, but yes, we still we're gonna go till 12:30. But in the meantime, if you want to show some love to the wonderful Art Force Iowa, check them out. Artforceiowa.org. 
uh, learn more about them, donate to uh, their amazing cause. If you want to check out more about my goofy stuff, go to my ancient website, toasterpress.com. A um, little out of date. You'd be better off going to my Instagram or my Facebook uh, to learn more about me. I would say learn more about what events I'm doing as of late, but uh, there's not a whole lot of events right now. Shocker. Uh, but yes, uh, once again, I am Cody Sherman of Toaster Press. And uh, yeah, let's get back into it. I hope you enjoyed my holiday photo, which is over here, which is opposite on my screen. <laughs> You've all seen me carve uh and kind of prep a plate to be uh to be carved and you've even uh, some of you depends how long you've been watching some of you've even seen me print uh but a lot of people ask about how i get my designs on the actual boards themselves so this board it is roughly an eight by ten definitely not the straightest cut on this edge it looks like but it's about an eight by ten uh, not too big, not too small, just right. And so what I like to do, ooh, excuse me, what I like to do is to draw directly onto the board. Uh, unfortunately, that removes all of my process work, which uh, if any of my old professors are watching me or art teachers, uh, they would not be happy with that. I do get a lot of my ideas and designs uh where I, i'll sketch them down in a sketchbook first and then when i'm trying to figure out what i want to work on i will dig through my sketchbook and you know try to dig up old ideas or aspects of old designs that never got used and i'll try to incorporate them in uh something new so right away opening this up, uh, this is almost completely what I did, uh, the design for Fire Trucker Brewery. Um, here's an alternative design I did for them, um, and me figuring out prices and blah 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 blah. But uh, no, so I'd never use this robot. I kind of like him though. Here, let's see if I can flip this around. How do I flip vertical? Uh, oh wait, that didn't work. Sorry. I need art cam. Yeah, there we go. So. Uh, here, I'll make me smaller too. Whoa! Okay. So, this is a design that I have, haven't used before. Um, I realized that... Huh, it reads backwards on the camera. That's okay. I can, no, I can fix that. Boom, there we go. So, yes. Design, I ended up, uh, Fire Trucker ended up going with this design. This is, this one kind of bit the dust. Um, here are some other designs too, I was looking at too. This is kind of like of a, a modified like Mitch kind of creature, riding a skateboard. I kind of like him. Maybe I'll do him. Uh, there's the possum that you guys have been staring at the past few weeks. That was the, uh, there was the initial drawing for him. I don't know, I kind of like this dude. Just, he's drinking his drink and he's riding a skateboard. Um, oh, okay. And then this drawing. So... Uh, it didn't get folded right, but 
fun idea if you want to do it at home. Yeah, it didn't get folded right, but so you'll have to imagine a little bit. So, if you want a fun drawing game to do at home, fold your paper. You can do it into, fold a piece of paper and fold it into thirds. I, I like to do thirds. Uh, you can also do halves. You can do as many as you want. Uh, so, in this case, it's done into thirds. So, you want to draw a head, a body, and legs. Uh, but what you you want to do this with a group of people so you, the first uh, everyone will have one drawing and you fold it up and it'll look like this and then everyone has a certain amount of time to draw the head um, could be human head I have like a robot head could be a monster it could be anything it could be it could be an inanimate object it doesn't matter what it is just something that could act as a head and then when time is up, you flip it over. Uh, I like to make little lines, little lines on the underside so they know where to connect the neck. And then you flip it over so they can't see the head. And then you pass it to someone else. And that someone else will then draw the body. Uh, so then they don't know what the head looks like, but they know where the neckline is. So they'll finish the neck. They'll draw the body. And again... Uh, they only have a certain amount of time to do so. Once you get down to what would be like the waist, similar to the neck, I like to draw little lines that go underneath, and then they would have to draw the legs. So then the legs are drawn. Um, oh, it looks like I did this one in half. So this one was a half drawing. So I drew the top half, so it would be head, head and body, and then the bottom would be legs. Um, so head and body, I drew a robot, and then, uh, or someone did, and then the legs were drawn on, uh, all without being able to see the rest of the image. So, when you're done, you end up with a really crazy, weird creature design thing. Um, this was a, a parlor trick. Or not a parlor trick, but like a, a parlor game for artists. Uh, it was called Exquisite Corpse, which is kind of a, I realize, kind of a weird name. But, yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, kind of a fun activity I like to do for, like, workshops and things like that that I work in. Um, some of you might recognize this cat. This is a cat that I have done for, uh, I did it for 8035. It's on a lot of like the clothes and prints that I sell. That was the initial sketch for that. But yeah, I mean, this is what I do. This sketchbook is old. Everything's falling out of it. I'll just go through here and try to find old ideas that just never got used. Um, so I did like a study here of like all these different cardboard heads and eyes and hands hands are no fun to draw uh just trying to figure something out i also have notes from some of my classes <laughs> but uh yeah it's just fun to kind of go through and look at all of the uh you know all the ideas that maybe didn't quite make it And then just borrow things from them. So, I'm just going to do a quick flip. Here's some more robots. Here's my bed chasing me. Here's a self-portrait I did for a... Uh, a printmaking conference that's going to be upside down for you guys. Got lots of notes for classes in here too. This is an old notebook. 
Um, okay. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna go with that one. Um. Can I see him from the other side? No, I can't. I really want him to be skating this direction, but I know if I just straight up copy that image onto my board uh, and I go to print it, he'll be skating to the left. I want him to be skating to the right. So I need to draw him. And you know what? Maybe I'll do like a full scene for this one, or you know, like a partial scene anyway. Um. I get like a good angle for you guys. Oop, no. I'm trying. Wish I could zoom out. That's better. All right. So is this gonna be upside down? If I'd write Cody. It's no, it's right side up for you guys. Cool, and it's correct. Hey, the magic of technology. All right. So if I want him to skate to the right, I need on my board to draw him skating to the left because everything's gonna be in reverse. So let's start out with the body. Um, here, I'll, I'll try to keep the image on the side here, too. I'll get me out of the way. That's what the image is. Dang it, I did the bird again. <laughs> I was like, what do I keep on selecting? It's the bird image. <laughs> uh, I need to just bury that thing. Alright. None of you saw that bird. I swear, it seems like I always show that picture on purpose, but it's a mistake every time. I have—I don't know why, but I have like three spots where I had that bird picture, and it just always pops up because I'm like, because I don't have anything labeled on my th on my program where I use to control the st the stream. I'm like, ooh, what does this button do? Bird picture. <laughs> all right, all right. So this guy, he is definitely a bit wider. Well, let's just let's just space him out first. So, he is all body. So, he's going to be like in this whole area. With hair up here. Legs. And then skateboard. Yeah. So, alright. So I kind of have the area blocked out where I want him to be. So let's start adding in detail. So if you look, he's kind of got a mouth that overhangs a bit. He's got quite the underbite.
a big old tooth that comes out now his mouth goes for most of his body and his arm his arm is a nearly in line with his his mouth line I might not have it far enough up yeah I might need to drag that mouth up a bit feels better so Music quit out on me. Uh, all right. I think they forgot to finish that song. Hey, yo, copy free music. I shouldn't complain about copy free music. They are a lifesaver. It is a lifesaver. You got the angle a little too steep here. Uh, this needs to be parallel. There we go, that's better. That all lines up. Mm, man, I'm still not sure if I'm happy where that mouth is. Now I feel like it needs to be a little bit lower. <laughs> uh, Got these real skinny legs. A big old tooth. So I put the tooth there. 
And the nose here. Yeah, there'll be room. Okay. I was worried for a second there I was running out of room. <laughs> well, let's round out that tooth a little bit. Nice face lines. The eye actually needs to go a little bit lower. a little bit steeper. Boom, got his big old goofy nose. Oh, jeez, it's 12.30. I'm done. <laughs> I'm glad I looked at the clock. I got really into that drawing. <laughs> All right, well, uh, for those of you who are still in the chat, thank you for joining. Um, shoot, where's my goofy picture? Uh, face. Hey, there it is. Christmas card, 19. Anyway, give... I always script the sites. Art Force Iowa. Artforceiowa.org. Give them love. Learn more about them. Donate. They would... They... Especially during these times, any help that you give Art Force Iowa would be greatly appreciated. All that help then just goes to helping the youth that they serve and their families. Um, if you want to check out all my goofy stuff, toasterpress.com. Uh, I would suggest going to my Instagram instead. Instagram and Facebook at Toaster Press. And yeah, thank you for joining. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday afternoon. And uh, we will see you again tomorrow for another Artful Connection. Goodbye.